Robert Maxwell with The Man Factory, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a glimpse of small town life. We are on our way to an annual community event here where we live on Western Manitoulin, and it's the United Church Annual Turkey Supper. Lots of people, probably hundreds of people from all around the island, come to this event every year to eat turkey with all the trimmings and to talk and see their friends and family. And it's one of those traditions that you don't often see in larger urban areas. And we're certainly glad to be part of these small town, warm, fuzzy sort of community events whenever they happen. So that's where we're headed now. You excited, honey? No comment. <laughs> Someone's a little camera shy. We've got a third passenger behind us too, Lily. And I don't know about you, honey, but I intend to eat a huge amount of turkey. That's not being unusual in your case. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a lifter. I gotta fuel myself properly, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna fuel yourself properly? Yep. Sounds like a plan. As it turns out, my little sister Ellie is going to be singing a few songs at this event, kind of on the earlier side of things. It goes quite long. People come and sit down and eat and leave, and a fresh batch of people comes. We're going kind of towards the early end of things because we've got a little girl to get to bed on time. But Ellie is going to be singing three or four songs, I think. She's become quite a good singer. She's been taking voice lessons, and so we're heading there to enjoy the event and eat lots of good food. I'll check back in with you when we get there. Starting to fill up now. And this is only the first seating. You can see the line up back there where people are getting their food. Everyone looks forward to this event from all over. What do you think, honey? Got a nice looking plate there. That would be like your dad recording your mom every time she has food. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. This will be my meal for the evening. It's a jar of pints, baby sweet potato and beef medley. Good stuff. Or maybe it's hers. Good? Very good. This is more like it. You made quick work of that, honey. I was very hungry. Yeah. Worth the wait, eh? I'm still waiting for dessert. Huh. Oh yeah? What are you gonna have? What kind would you like? Cherry, raisin, lemon, pumpkin, brown here. Apple. Banana cream? I'm not checking it out if I can tell. The turkey is actually locally produced. We know the guy who produces it. His name is Max Burton. He's actually the dad of a, a friend of ours. So it's neat to know exactly where the food you're eating comes from, which is not something you usually get in the city. It's one of the benefits of country living. Mm. Lily's enjoying her supper too. Raisin pie. How is it? I'm not going to say anything. Well, I need your opinion because I won't be sampling that kind for myself, so. I'll then sample. Oh, 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 oh. You sample yourself, so you know. Okay. You, t you just take other kinds. Mm. Uh. 
Not bad. Home baked blueberry pie. That looks good. What's he do with all the pictures? He's posting this on his website or the blog. I'm bulking. A lot of volunteer work makes all this happen. Another turkey supper complete. Hi, Mom. It all worked out okay. So, honey, we both have full happy bellies, correct? Yes, indeed. It's, I think, physically impossible. Like, it's one of the laws of thermodynamics that you can't go into an event like that and not overeat. Isn't that right, honey? Well, um, for me personally, in those kind of situations, you don't even want to go for seconds even if you still have room in the belly because it just kind of feels awkward. People look at you and all turkeys <laughs> are looking at you. Well, that's why you always Thank fill up your plate like as big as you can possibly I get know, it the first I time, don't. right? No, no, I don't when just mean I you. I mean everyone. Everyone does that. I don't because you see in the situations you can't even do it by yourself. People put things for you. Yeah, but there's, you know, it's always a friendly old lady saying, more turkey than that? More than that? Yeah, a little more than that? Yeah, because I'm so polite and I don't want to seem like I'm a big, stinky, fat pig. I always say, no, thank you, that's enough. But when it comes to my hubby, when I go to fill the plate, I always ask Your hubby? More. So you mean, you mean me? Is that me? Of course you. Like, <laughs> do I have another one? Not, well, not that I know so. of. I mean... 